This is another subject that uh, is pretty controversial too. NAFTA. I, I was watching the news a couple nights ago, and it said 60 percent of uh, the egg products in Iowa was handled through NAFTA. What percentage, and uh, what's going to happen to South Dakota? Yeah, I know that especially our our you know, soybeans are will be impacted big, depending on where this these trade talks go. And, and so that's why I think it's important to me to um, to be an ambassador as, as the question that I got for South Dakota Ag. To work with our producers and our, our ag organizations here in South Dakota to be an advocate for what are the best policies for South Dakota that we can talk to our Washington delegates about and talk to the administration about to get them to understand that we're feeding the world and we need to continue to grow agriculture so that we can grow an ever increasing, you know, to feed an ever increasing population. And and we have our work cut out for us uh, in that. And so, um, you know, I grew up in ag, grew up on our family ranch, uh, cow-calf operation, and uh, I see, um, I see the struggles of agriculture, whether it's in cow-calf side or farming, and I think we're at a crossroads. Uh, we need to stand up and fight for ourselves here to make sure that, that we're protecting our producers. And that's going to be my main focus. There's a lot of other countries that are starting to produce soybeans and stuff. They're going to be real competitors looking for that gap there. So. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of yeah. The sisters are leaving. They did tell me ahead of time that, that they had another deal, so they aren't leaving based on anything I said. <laughs> <laughs>